NVIDIA's performance and potential for investors, stock analysis, and much more. Did you know that the technology powering your favorite video games could also be a gold mine for investors? Yes, we're talking about NVIDIA, the tech titan that's been making waves in the stock market. There has been so much hype around this company lately, but is it all worth it? What does it mean for you as an investor? Today, we're talking about just that. We'll explore the company's journey, its recent performance, and its potential for investors. We'll also analyze NVIDIA's stock and what the numbers tell us. NVIDIA was founded in 1993 by three engineers. Jensen Huan, Chris Malakowski, and Curtis Priam. They saw the potential of 3D graphics in gaming in multimedia markets. You know, they were going all in. In 1999, the company invented the GPU, a game-changing moment that not only redefined computer graphics, but also set the stage to reshape the entire computing industry. It was the spark that ignited the growth of the PC gaming market in the modern era of AI. Then, in 2006, they unveiled the CUDA architecture, opening up the parallel processing capabilities of GPUs to the world of science and research. This move transformed the way scientists and researchers work, allowing them to harness the power of GPUs for a wide range of applications. Today, every gamer knows about NVIDIA. It has become a dominant player in the tech industry, providing solutions for a myriad of sectors, including gaming, machine learning, artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicle development, and high-performance computing. Financially, NVIDIA has seen pretty significant growth over the years. In 2024 alone, NVIDIA stock increased by an impressive 41%. But what's driving this impressive performance? Their GPUs have become a staple in industries. Known for their ability to process many small tasks simultaneously, this parallel processing is particularly useful in the realm of AI, where NVIDIA's GPUs have become the workhorse for training AI models. In fact, NVIDIA's GPUs underpin most AI applications today. The company reported a revenue of $60.92 billion, an operating income of $32.97 billion, and a net income of $29.76 billion. Whoa! If you didn't get it, let's put these numbers into perspective. NVIDIA's revenue for the fourth quarter ended January 28, 2024 was $22.1 billion, up 22% from the previous quarter and up 265% from a year ago. For fiscal 2024, revenue was up 126% to $60.9 billion. These figures speak volumes about NVIDIA's consistent growth and dominance in the tech industry. NVIDIA's influence isn't just about technology and financials. The company is also committed to making a positive impact on the world. NVIDIA are planning to purchase, or you can say, generate enough renewable energy to match 100% of their global electricity usage. Now you know how NVIDIA has been performing. And this is why there's all hype, but what does this mean for you as an investor? Is there potential for growth? Well, let me put it this way. NVIDIA's potential for investors is immense. And it's not just because of its impressive stock increase of 63% in 2024. There's a lot more to the story. First of all, let's talk about NVIDIA's ambitious target of 100 billion in free cash flow over the next two years. This is a pretty bold move that signals the company's confidence in its growth trajectory and its commitment to delivering value to its shareholders. But how does NVIDIA plan to achieve this target? 
The answer lies in its strategic initiatives and growth drivers. One of them are companies' dominance in the AI and machine learning industry. NVIDIA's GPUs, particularly the A100, are critical for AI and ML algorithms, powering applications like ChatGBT. Yes, this dominance in the AI and ML industry has led to NVIDIA controlling almost 95% of the GPU market, despite increasing competition from other firms. Another growth driver is NVIDIA's diversification efforts, recognizing the need to diversify its strategy in the AI chip market. NVIDIA announced a big $30 billion investment into a new business unit, just focus on helping cloud computing clients make customized chips. I mean, this move could help NVIDIA leverage its economics, its economies of scale to tackle the market for niche use cases that aren't well served by its general purpose chips. NVIDIA is also betting on software through its supercomputer DGX Cloud, designed to help clients create and run AI applications without the hassle of building their own infrastructure. All these diversification efforts can actually help the company maintain its high growth rate in the face of rising competition. To be honest, every investment has its potential risks and challenges. So does investing in NVIDIA, such as ongoing US slash China trade concerns. Basically, there is uncertain impact of export controls on tech to China and the looming potential for a chip shortage, eventually raising caution flags for investors considering investing in NVIDIA in 2024. All right, so we've explored NVIDIA's potential for investors. Now let's come to the point and do a whole stock analysis. For the sake of better understanding, at the time of this video, NVIDIA's stock price stands at $881.86. The stock has seen a huge increase from the start of the year when it was valued at $495.22. This represents a growth of approximately 77%. We already know company's financial health reported record quarterly revenue of $22.1 billion, up 22% from the previous quarter and up a whole 265% from a year ago. And FY 2024 revenue was up 126% to 60.9 billion. This is the thing we've already talked about. Now, the earnings per share, or EPS for short, is a portion of a company's profit allocated to each outstanding share of common stock. NVIDIA's EPS for the fiscal year 2024 was $11.93. Pretty good from the previous year, indicating that the company's profitability is on the rise. The price earnings or PE ratio is a valuation ratio of a company's current share price compared to its pro share earnings. At the moment, it stands at 72.17. A high P slash E ratio could mean that a company's stock is overvalued or else the investors are expecting high growth rates in the future. Next comes the price earnings growth or just PEG ratio for short. It's a valuation metric for determining the relative trade-off between the price of a stock, the earnings generated per share, EPS, and the company's expected growth. Today, the PEG ratio for NVIDIA stock is 0.13. If you don't know, this is considered good, indicating the stock may be undervalued given its earnings growth, according to the issued ratings of 41 analysts in the last year. The consensus rating for NVIDIA stock is moderate buy. The average 12-month price prediction for NVIDIA is $926.30, with a high price target of $1,200 and a low price target of $475. Now, this suggests that analysts are generally optimistic about the stock's future performance. If we look ahead into the future, well, NVIDIA is predicted to grow earnings and revenue by 22.9% and 22.3% annuum respectively. 
The stock price is also predicted to reach $2,224 by the end of 2024. I mean, a potential upside of over 150%. In a nutshell, NVIDIA appears to be a strong player in the tech industry with a solid financials and promising growth prospects. However, like any investments, it's important to consider all factors and risks before making a decision. You have to do research on your end. We say this in our every video. Never forget to do your own homework before going into any stock. Well, that's it for today. NVIDIA story from a small tech startup to a dominant player in the tech industry is truly inspiring. Its performance and potential for investors make it a fascinating case study in the world of finance. So what are your thoughts on NVIDIA's performance and potential for investors? Do you think NVIDIA is a good investment? If so, are you considering it? Drop your comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out our recent video on 8 Shocking Truths About Your Money Exposed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.